and welcome to the Sunday News at 10. I'm Doug Petcash. From opening a bank account to learning how to invest and budget, a new financial literacy bill going through the legislature right now would make sure all Idaho high schoolers have those skills. Tomorrow, House Bill 92 goes to the House floor. The House Education Committee unanimously passed the bill on Wednesday. News Channel 7's Abby Davis spoke with a couple students about the bill earlier today, and Abby, they seem to be on board. Well, everyone, Doug, I talked to say it's a great idea. The bill is getting bipartisan support, too, with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. High school students like Zoe Mabeza and Savannah Chapman. I'm a sophomore in high school. And I'm a senior in high school. Want to be as prepared as possible for life after graduation. That includes making smart financial decisions. Last semester, I was able to take a personal finance class. I'm starting to learn more about, like, investing and saving and budgeting and, like, the value of money over time. A new bill, House Bill 92, would make learning those skills a requirement for high schoolers around the state. Republican State Representative James Petsky co-wrote the bill with State Superintendent Debbie Critchfield. So I actually took a class in financial literacy when I was in high school. He says that experience made a lasting impact. Being an elective, there weren't that many kids that signed up for it. I think I was one of like six kids in the class and so hundreds of students missed out on it every year. I realized that, you know, that it should be something that's required, um, you know, of high school students and, you know, because it, it really sets you up well to do well in the real world. If passed, some schools may create their own financial literacy class. Others might add personal finance to an already existing class like economics. Things like how to understand debt, how to make sure that you don't get into trouble with debt, uh, understanding the basics of how investing works, understanding the basics of how to set a, a simple household budget. Petsky says teaching financial literacy shouldn't cost the state any extra money because schools can use free curriculum vetted by the State Board of Education. We're saying this is the minimum that school districts have to do if to teach, you know, these areas of financial literacy um, and do at least half a credit dovetailed into economics. The bill works with Superintendent Critchfield's proposal to make financial literacy a graduation requirement, which the House Education Committee will vote on. Chapman and Mabeza say they're grateful their high school already offers personal finance and wants other students to have the same opportunity. I just think that it would be really important for everyone that's in high school right now to take a personal finance class. It just would, it would help them so much. Especially if you go live off on your own, like not knowing how to do that, you're kind of screwed. The bill is going to the House floor tomorrow morning, and depending on that decision, it will go over to the Senate. But Petsky told me he's hopeful, especially with all the bipartisan support. Yeah, and see that it went through the Education Committee with a unanimous vote yes. as well. So it just seems like a really good plan. I know I certainly could have used more of that type of education. Me too. College <laughs> out of high school. Abby, thank you so much.